it was a couple weeks. The client had sent us many different products throughout this. We had to go through numerous revisions on storyboards to make sure that they were okay with everything. We also had to pick the shooting location. We had to send them numerous different options of which places they wanted to shoot. Then it just came down to uh, two days of production. We had one last week, which gave us enough time to showcase them the first cuts of those. See if we need to do any reshoots or inserts of shots that they wanted done differently with something different in the background. Today, which is the second day of shooting, ended up waking around 6.20 in the morning, ended up going to the office to meet up with the rest of the crew, packed all the camera equipment up, then had to go to a second location to pick up all of the products. No, God, please, no, no! So I was setting up lights and also helping with camera. There's a lot of production design stuff happens that Greg and Marco are fiddling with to give you that exact kind of style and then uh, a lot of little small lighting adjustments too that we're making to create the best image possible. I think it went really well. Really efficient. We are here in uh, Chinatown today. In terms of lighting, we had to recreate the same lighting environment we did a week ago. Yeah, we've been filming for these clients about for two, three years. Every time is in a different location, different kitchen, uh, all around New York. So every time we need to readjust our lighting setup based on our location. So today was the hand model. But actually I did a little bit of everything. But I had to reproduce the look from our food stylist, Sabrina, last week. So I got the same nail polish color and the same outfit. Yesterday, the pre-production was to buy some uh, of the products that the client asked on top of the products that we shot last week. I'm glad that everything worked out fine and teamwork makes it happen. So as an editor, being on set is really great for me because it's like the pre-game, I get to see everything that's shot and make notes and see, oh, well, what am I gonna need to remember later? What's gonna look good when I make the cut? It's also just great to just be involved in setting up stuff and just being a part of it, because oftentimes, you know, editing can be disconnected from shooting, but the way we work here, it's like everybody knows how to do everything, and I think that's just the way to do it. And that's a wrap.